in this video we are going to create a subsurface photo effect it's uh, basically a skin effect you can see it's too much uh, illuminated here uh, as this is a different color but uh, in the second image uh, you can see that it looks like amazing so today we will work on this effect it will be very simple very easy and very quick so let's start our work without wasting any kind of time Welcome back everyone, my name is Adnan Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials and welcome back after a long long time, uh, right after Eid day and uh, it's been really a long time because there were some Viva sessions of uh, my project so that's why I was very much busy uh, in my schedule so uh, now I'm back with some something different so let's start our work without wasting any kind of time so this is our simple image uh, as we want to apply our effect on this image so we'll apply on this side uh, of the skin so let's start our work first of all uh, we need some uh, we can say that fractal noise texture so all of these textures are provided in the description so you can download these files so first of all uh, we will adjust it uh, according to our need as you can see that it looks nice here so now on the second step uh, what we'll do is we'll create a mask on it we will hide this uh, layer and select our pen tool once you select it pen tool just need to select the area on which you want to apply this effect so as a and there we go so we have selected the area on which we want to apply our effect and now uh, we'll simply turn on this oops sorry turn off this for the time being uh, Okay, so we'll right click on this and click on make selection click on ok it will create a selection now we'll turn on our layer and select this uh, white mask and press uh, we can say that R plus backspace to do that now press ctrl D and you will see this there is a intersection between uh, the mask and the original layer now we'll select this and press ctrl I now you can see it's inverted now uh, if you don't understand this step you just need to go uh, press and hold alt from your keyboard and click on this mask and you will see it will uh, take us inside the mask and now we'll press ctrl i you will see it will invert the mask and uh, like uh, it will make the white to black and black to white now we'll click out on the thumbnail and we are get back to our main uh, image and now we will select our uh, mask and we'll go to properties uh, panel if you don't see this properties panel just go to windows and click on uh, properties that's nice now we will simply just click on feather and uh, let's see how much uh, effect will be applied I think that's nice much better yes that looks nice and perfect in my opinion so the reason to make this uh, uh, we can see that feather is uh, we want don't want edges so we want to soft the edges so that is the best way you can adjust the settings again and again so don't worry about that uh, after that we'll just hide this up and uh, now we'll select our main texture and uncheck this chain and press ctrl T now we'll make it a little bit bigger in size like this and you can make it more bigger or smaller it's all in your choice I think it looks uh, much better here so now we are fine with the settings and if you wanna make it more smaller you just uh, need to do a simple thing select your brush tool select mask and change your white uh, ground uh, foreground color to black and now we'll simply just uh, paint over this area so that's great not so much uh, just a little bit that's nice I think so that's that's cool yes it looks much better and now what we'll do is we need some veins so we have a veins texture it's in uh, 
jpg image you can see that this is the best thing so what we'll do is we'll click and drag it into our main uh, psd file and now we will adjust the size like this and click on this check mark and now we'll make it multiply and uh, we'll press ctrl t rotate this and make it a little smaller size as it looks much better here yes that's nice and make it a little bigger it's your choice and press ctrl j and now we'll make several copies and adjust it according to our needs that's great and now we'll create another copy and take it right between uh, in center and we will make it blur so we'll go to filter blur and gaussian blur not so much just a little bit so we could see in these veins so click on ok and then we'll create another copy or instead of that we will just uh, uh, select a vein from this side and we will make it a little uh, smaller blur so we'll go to filter blur and gaussian blur and uh, make it 4 or yes 4 is nice I think so yes that's great and now what we'll do is we'll simply just uh, select all of these veins and uh, press ctrl G and we will make them into a group now we'll press go to and uh, we rename this uh, name this as veins network great and we'll call it as luma map that's great now uh, we want to apply this mask so we'll press ctrl alt and click this mask and drag it on our group so it will apply it on our group so far that's great and now we'll open up our group and adjust some veins as they are out of our range so how we'll do that is simple uh, we'll select our veins and take them inside that and hit ok that's nice uh, okay so we'll select our mask press brush tool and uh, we will make our foreground color as black sorry it's uh, it should be white and now we'll select our brush tool select the mask yeah that's great so cool that's looking nice so the basic thing is done here as you can see that and now we will simply just uh, uh, let me show you how we did that in main PSD file you can see that there is the uh, group uh, according uh, containing vein and our all uh, these uh, effects and we will turn them into multiply and we will change this uh, to color dodge so now we'll select and drag it into our group as it comes in front so we'll take it in end of these veins layers and now we will make it color dodge nice and now uh, we'll simply just uh, as you can see we have applied a multiply and uh, we'll select all of these veins layers and we'll turn them and uh, turn down the opacity to about like 80 percent that looks nice and now we'll hide the, uh, close this group and now we'll select a curves adjustments layer and make it uh, on this group and now we'll select a red color that's nice now we'll go to blue not worry about that we will apply our desired color so that green color not so much just a little bit yellowish not so much that looks nice oops sorry it's too much we want a little a little bit okay a little bit more yes that looks uh, perfect I think it's like it looks nice and looks a little bit realistic so we'll hide this 
and uh, as we can uh, adjust more from RGBs so let's see how it works yes now it looks much much better that's nice now uh, we will create a new layer on all of uh, on top of this and we will uh, call it um, as our color and we'll select brush tool and we will select a color so the color should be about like uh, I think it should be a little bit yellow not too much dark and not too much light so yes hit ok and I will select uh, brush tool as you can see that everything should be normal and now we'll click 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 and click that's great now we'll go to effects and make it overlay or oh, sorry soft light that looks nice but if you want to make it darker so what we'll do is we'll turn off the fill open up this uh, color and uh, make it color overlay and now we can apply our desired color as you can see that uh, that's uh, totally in control so you can change the color anytime if you wish to change so don't make it too much hard that looks much better now as you can see that the vein network is going too much far so we'll select our vein network uh, group mask and select brush tool and make it uh, black foreground color and now we will uh, hide some of the veins not so much just a little bit so we could uh, hide them from the back so that's uh, cool and uh, very nice and select X and we will we'll spread this a little bit from here to here a little bit we'll turn on the down the opacity and flow and change it to black that looks uh, much better now I am much fine with the settings so that's the basic thing and now we're gonna apply some color overlays to adjust some colors so before do that we'll create a new layer or instead of that we'll go to adjustments layer and we'll select uh, I think a gradient and then we'll go to this and uh, uh, this is the basic color settings and uh, you can see so we will save this first I will show you the color code or uh, you can just uh, uh, new it's saved now and now uh, we will go to our color overlay uh, this is the black to white and click OK and then we will make it a radial then we will make it reverse and then we will hit OK make it screen or multiply I think multiply is much better and then we will uh, double click on this and I will adjust the angle and the sizes so we will change scale not so much just a little bit uh, I think it's nice now hit OK and then we will select a gradient selective gradient map oops sorry this is selective color we will select our uh, gradient map and basically we're gonna apply this uh, color so the color code for this uh, is uh, FF7E00 this is the white uh, this is the some dark colors and uh, uh, this one is uh, FF, FF, FF and hit OK now we'll make it reverse or you can make it like leave it as it is and now we'll make it uh, soft light that looks insane and nice but we'll select and make it uh, fill it with black color now we'll select brush tool 
and now we will apply this on our only face so the foreground color should be black and there we go I think we don't need to uh, make it on hairs just a little bit or uh, yes okay now uh, we will turn down the uh, color that's nice and now we'll go to uh, color balance and we'll make it little in this color that's nice looks nice and perfect I think it's nice so uh, that's it we can add one more thing here is some fire embers so drag it here rotate it a little bit and we'll make it um, screen that's nice we can rotate this also like this and uh, anything else we want to make yes we want to make our eyes red so we'll click new layer select brush tool and uh, select a color of uh, dark yes this this is nice and uh, now we'll fill it with uh, in between eyes so make it 100% uh, flow should be 100% and now we will fill it with our desired color that's nice now we'll make it uh, color dodge or you can make it uh, overlay it's totally in your hands and that's the effect we were working on uh, okay so we can make it a little bigger that's great so that's it uh, I hope you like this video if you like this video and found this video helpful uh, you can uh, subscribe my channel give this video a thumbs up and uh, all the files are in the description so you can free download all of these files and we'll meet in our next video never stop never depend and keep learning